Good morning, guys. Good morning. How y'all been? This is Darrell with Lee's Lawn Care and Services. How y'all been? Great to talk to you guys. Uh, it's been cold and rainy down here the last uh, couple of days. Well, for the last couple of weeks, honestly. And uh, I've been busy putting up a fence. I just, I just uh, almost finished it. I got a. Uh, you gotta put a gate lock on it because that's what they wanted. And I gotta uh, cut the top post down because I got them. I had them high, so I just have to take the tops off of them. I had, the store at the time when I bought them, they only and instead of ten foot posts, they had twelve foot posts, and that was all they had. So I bought twelve foot posts, and um, that's what I used. So I had to cut the tops down. Um, off of them. I went uh, three foot down because he wanted to go three foot down. So it went down three foot. So those posts about at least uh, nine foot high. So I got to cut the tops down to about, uh, about six, a little bit under six because you want the post to be, you don't want to see the post. You know, you just want to see the fence. So that's what I got to do for, for uh, him. And that won't take long at all to do that. But uh, I'm taking a break from that fence today. I'm, uh, I'll probably get back on it tomorrow. I'm going to cut some grass today. I got so many phone calls for grass cutting and nasty weather, believe it or not. A lot of them. I've been writing them down in my tablet. I mean, in my organizer. And, um, man, it's, it's, it's crazy how, uh, how, much, how many phone calls I'm getting for lawn care at a time where it's raining, it's cold, and I think what it is, is that, uh, I need to get around these guys, make a quick dash for it, but uh, I think what it is, like, when you get busy and occupy yourself with other things, that's when uh, the lawn care, you know, steps in, and people want stuff done, you know, so I have a garden to do. I had to go price out a complex, a duplex, for one of my customers. She bought a duplex. She's buying another duplex. I had to go price that out for her. Whenever she gets to closing, uh, whenever she, whenever I get the confirmation on that. So, businesses, man. Uh, if if it wasn't for my fiance stopping me and making us go on vacation and making us do other things, man, I, I I don't think I would stop, and that's just being honest, man, that's, if it wasn't for her pushing for, uh, for things like that to happen, man, I probably would never go on vacation, I would go, but probably at, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a spot where it's not as active, but if it wasn't for her just forcing some stuff in, it wouldn't happen, because I get so many phone calls all the time for work, and it's just, man, it's insane. It's it's a blessing to be in a in a position like that because a lot of guys aren't. You know that that's uh that's just starting up. You know they have to build a brand, and uh, they don't they don't get that type of activity. But for somebody with a lot of longevity and doing the work, I mean, you get you get a lot of activity, man. You know, and it's and it's a credit to you and the work that you do. You know, that's what it is. It's your reputation. It's what you do. It's people trust it. You know, uh, your, your, your brand has been a while around for a while, it's established, and people uh, respect and appreciate that. I think that's what it is, you know. So, I mean, hey, thank God for that. You know, I'm, 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 I'm happy and I'm humble, you know, for, for what has happened in business. You know, business is great. You know, it's like the guy told me he didn't, uh, the Biden Fender guy, he says, you know, he said, man, I got a ton of work on my hands to do. You know, so I might not have a whole lot as far as money going because I got, you know, he gets his money from the insurance companies with the collisions and all. He said, I might not have a lot coming in like that until the jobs are, you know, completed. But he said that he has so much work, you know, it's just good to stay busy because he knows at the end of the day, you know, he's going to get his just due out of that, you know, which is, which is awesome. So, and I, I feel the same way. I have I have a decent amount of money uh, coming in, especially with these fences. 
And I got another fence job that I got to go look at. And, and the thing is, like I said, I'm taking a break from these fences. I have a few uh, touchy, touch, homey touch things I got to do to that fence. And it's done. You know, it's, it's, it's completely uh, finished out. That fence took me, because of the weather and the rain and all, it took me about two weeks to do it. You know, and and it still is not 100% completed because I have to go and do some cosmetic stuff, put a gate latch on it, cut the post down on the tops, um, and that's that's pretty much it. You know, the fence is pretty much that's up. Everything's up. It's it's connected. It's all done. It just needs the cosmetics, and uh, that's all I got left to do. You know, to that. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not doing that today. I got I got grass cutting to do today. I don't have the the time today to go and do that. So we got yards to cut today. I'm gonna get out here. I got a few accounts, you know, where I'm gonna get paid nicely. So I'm going to do that today. And it's not as not as hard to work as uh, fooling with that fence. Which the fence is down to the easy stuff now. It's just you know, like I say, cosmetics. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys are doing great, man. Um, I've been doing great, you know, getting things done, um, staying busy, you know, in a time where you, you're really not that busy, but I'm busy, you know, I've, I've been I'm doing a lot of, somebody else doing another fence over there, I see it, so it's just, you know, it's just, it is what it is, man, you gotta, you gotta take on what you gotta take on when it's, you know, when you, when you, uh, have the time to do it, I got a garden schedule, I got, I got a lot of stuff going on with me. I did a garden already. I did I did uh, one of my commercial accounts garden. I did them. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, it's just a lot, a lot going on with me, you know, a lot. And uh, I'm trying my best not to uh, be overwhelmed. You know, in, in the cold season, you're, you're restarting. You think you're going to start off slow, and then you pick up steam as it goes. Man, I, I hit the ground running. You know, I did two fence jobs right off the back that just put me in the green, you know. And if I just stay... And if I just stay like my regular work, I'm in a green. I'm going to make more money this year than I made last year. You know, so I'm already in the green, you know, right out the gate. So I did, I did, this a third fence job. I got another fence job to do. I got a guy that's going to go remove a stump for another customer. So I got my hand in that. And then, you know, it's just a lot of stuff. Man, it's a lot of stuff, you know. I just, you know, it's opening up more doors because I see, other things that I can do, you know, like, you know, be the, the, uh, the mediator between, uh, getting stuff done using other people and having my customers, you know, trust me to, to get the things done that they want done, you know, and that's, uh, that's pretty cool. You know, like I said, with the guy with the stump, he's going to go through and, uh, remove the stump. I had the customer pay me, uh, customer's going to pay me the money and I'm going to break it up. I'm going to give half to the guy to start the job and then get, excuse me, and then get the other half, uh, when, uh, he's finished. And that's, and that's how, that's how I'm going to rock that, you know, and there's a couple other things going on where I'm going to set some things up and, uh, for, you know, facilitate some things, you know, and that's, that's something I could, I, I could have been doing that. But, you know, when, in, 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 in God's world, it's all about timing. And, you know, maybe the time wasn't right because my focus was on other things at the time. You know, I might have been focusing on trying to cut the perfect yard. And, and, and uh, I was a manager for a while, too. So I had to rely. I had to do those duties as well. So my mindset wasn't wasn't about all that. But now, since I'm full fledged into this. It, I see doors opening where I can do a whole lot of other things. You know, I have a lot of connections, and all I have to do is bring those connections together. And what that does, that builds my reputation. You know, and 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 it actually it puts a few extra dollars in my pocket. You know, so I'm cool with that. You know, just being a facilitator. You know, so you know that's pretty cool. That's another thing that opened up opened the door up for me as well. You know, um, doing this business. You know, so. It's not just about lawn care guys. It's about being able to do other things, but not not getting overwhelmed, you know, is the key. And that's that's the key, the way I see it. You're not being overwhelmed by all the other things that's going on, not forgetting your roots. And my roots is to do lawn care. That's, that's what I do. 
you know, and to get other people to do other things, I do that. And I've, I've done a few fences, so I'm cool with that. You know, I'm, 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 I'm comfortable with that, you know, and that, and that aspect of it. So I'll, I'll do a few more fences, you know, they, they pay pretty good, pay really well in all honesty, you know, they pay really well, you know, um, last fence, I'm not gonna, um, sugarcoat it for you guys, you know, we made about, about, uh, $2,200 profit off of it, you know, so, and that was profit, that was after everything, all the bills were paid, and, uh, everything was, is put away, you know, and, uh, that's what's up, man, I got that sun going in you guys' eyes, so, I am going to, uh, try to cut this video short a little bit, because I don't want to, um, keep you guys too long, but yeah, guys, um, man, you know, uh, just do the best that you can, you know, um, try to find other ways to make money, you know, guys do snow, snow blowing and other things, you know, they do other stuff to, uh, stay afloat, so, you know, I mean, you, this, this YouTube, uh, uh, thing, man, it can teach you a lot of different things about doing a lot of different things, you know, and it don't take much, you know, it just takes the drive, the will, and the, and the, and the desire to do it, you know, and that's all you have to do. You know, you have to have the drive, the will, and the desire to do something. You know, off of those fence jobs, you know, I bought I bought an air gun, I bought a uh, tank, I bought the hose, I bought an auger, I got a saw, I got all the stuff I need to do a fence, you know, from doing the fence jobs. That was about, uh, about $1,100 worth of stuff that I've got, you know, to do the, to do fence jobs now, you know, and, he, and, and everything, after, and every, it's all paid for, and everything after that is just pure profit, you know, I mean, it's just something, something to think about, it's not that hard, you know, once you, once you get into it, now, it, it takes time to, to do them, but you compensate it for your time because of what you, what you're charging, you know, that's just one thing, there's other things out there that you can do that, uh, that'll help get you over the top. But that's just one thing for me, you know, that works for me right now. And I know I did pressure washing too. And, you know, you you make money on pressure washing, but not as much, you know. And I haven't bought a pressure washer, so I still have to rent that. And I put that in the bill, you know, as as I go. Because I, I didn't feel like that was a real... It was It's lucrative, but, you know, it's it's work too, you know. it's it, it For me, it's my back, you know. You know, I have to bend over and then, oh, I get the surface cleaner which is what i've been doing lately and when i put the surface cleaner on it it, it worked that works really well so but you know you don't get a lot of those because you know sometimes people just don't be looking for that type of stuff you know so i mean i offer that service i don't i don't do it but i i've seen a lot of these other trucks too they offer a lot of different services as well you know they do fences they do pressure washing they do some other little things you know they pour dirt in the yards, and I'm not doing all that because that's just that's 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 kind of out of my league. But I will do gardens, you know, because garden work take time. It pays well. It just takes a lot of time to do that as well, you know. And that's something that you got to be into because a lot of people don't like doing garden work. You know, me putting in the garden is 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 fine. You know, I, you know, you get the shovel, take the stuff out. You know, you set the template, you dig, you put the plants in. You put the you put the layer on the uh, the, oak, the underlayment on. Then you put the mulch on top. You know if you want to brick it, you can brick it. Let me get around this guy. If you want to brick it, whatever you want to do, you can do that. You know it, it just takes a little time, but the gardens pay well too. You know they they pay really good as well. They don't pay as good as the fence jobs, but they pay good too. They pay a little bit better than the than the pressure wash. I'll, I'll tell you that. You know, doing those gardens, depending on the type of garden that you get, you know. Sorry, guys. You know, the more to the store, be flexible, guys. You know, do the, do the things you need to do. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, uh, I can do my uh, lawn care setup for 2022. Show you all the good things that we got. We got some stuff. Uh, my rider still haven't came in, but I still talk to the rep. He says it's coming, but if... if uh, if my machine don't come that I paid for already, I'm going to get my money back and I'm going to go ahead and 
I told you guys, I know I don't like Toro, but Toro is the only thing that... Toro and X Market seem to be the most plentiful uh, option they got down here, you know, when it comes to uh, equipment. So I already bought a, a Toro, which, you know, guys, I don't care for Toro that, like that. But I bought a Toro already, and I'm going to buy another Toro, uh, another Toro push more, and then I'm going to... Um, if if the snapper don't come, I'ma buy the Turo Z. I'ma go and uh, I'ma go and get it. Uh, I'm gonna get the and they can get that tomorrow if I want it because Turo they have tons of of Turo and uh, X Mark. That's what they carry. So I really don't want to go with that style. I mean, I'ma have to shop around for some for some blades, you know, because I just don't like the the uh, quality of cut. I might go with some Balor blades or something. I'm gonna have to find. Uh, some different blades to go on it that uh, that will work for me, you know. So that's that's what I'm thinking, you know. And uh, hopefully that fix the problem, you know. I'll, I'll see how that how it goes. So, but that's the thing, you know. Like I said, I don't I don't care for Toro products. I I uh, grew up on Toro products. I trained on Toro products. Not too big of a fan on it because the Toros let me down quite a few days, and um, that's why I got away from it. But uh, they changed the technology, and uh, it's a lot better. Um, and I see guys with them, and I just don't like what the cut of it. And uh, I'm I'm assuming that it's got to be the blades that they're using. And so I'll change the blades into some expensive blades to get the the finish that I want. And that's what I'm thinking. You know, I go get some Ballards and uh, shop through them to see which ones I like. And I think they will they will definitely make a difference. So that's that's where I'm at on that, guys. But uh, yeah, uh, if it don't come, I mean he's talking, and if he don't show, if it don't he don't come through, we're going to get the Toro. You know, we're going to get the 36 inch Toro with the twin blades on it, and we'll I could like I said I could get that tomorrow if I want it, because I'm not I'm not going to wait around like I did last year. I'm not going to wait a whole year for a machine. I'm just not going to do it. We gotta we gotta roll, and then when it's time to replace it, hopefully times will be better. And that's my thing, you know. When times get better, then I will, uh, then I will change it out, you know, in another five years or whatever, five to seven years, I'll change it out into something else. But until then, we got we need something to roll right now. We're in a pandemic; a lot of stuff is not being made like like normal, and that's that was the mindset. I'm like, okay, well, I can get the stuff. No, it's not. It, that's it's not the mindset. They're just not making the stuff like you would initially think. You know, for here, put it that way. I'm not gonna say for everywhere, but for here, it's just not like that. You know, they, it's very limited on what they can, what they're gonna give us. You know, and um, I could call up north and get something shipped, but the thing is, if it breaks, you know, then the, I got to go to the local dealer and get that fixed. And local deal, local dealers don't service certain types of equipment. And so, with with this guy that, that I deal with, he deals with Turo and X Mark. Is 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 that's his main baby? So. If that breaks or whatever, I know I can go right down the street, let him fix it, and, you know, it'll be under warranty, so I don't have to worry about that. Because that's something you got to think about, too. Yes, I can order something from out of state, but if it breaks and my, my dealers, my local dealers don't service it, I'm up a creek, you know, trying to figure out who I can get to honor the warranty, you know. And I'm not chipping the machine out and paying, you know, I'm not going to do all that. That's just, I'm not, I'm not going to go through that drama, so... That's what I may have to do. I'm going to I'm gonna suck it up this time and just deal with something that I don't want to deal with, but I'm going to deal with it for a few years, and hopefully things will get a little better, and then uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm not going to wait around and get stuck like I got stuck last year. You know, it's been since March of last year. We're almost at March again, and I don't have a rider, and the guy's still selling me a bag of goods. Oh, yes, oh, yes. You know, it's like, nah. I'm going to uh, – I'm, I'm, I'm strongly thinking – because this season is going to be starting sooner than you know it about, hey, get my money back. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go get this this Toro and we're going to go from there. So that's what's that's what's uh, got me right now. And I'm going to go and tell my dealer to go ahead and swap it off of there and order it. You know, I know he's going to be like, well, you know, we, we, we this and that, you know, well, if the guy don't show up, if they don't show up next month, which is February, with the equipment, I'm out. I got. I gotta. We gotta make a move. I'm not gonna be stuck without a a, a zero turn uh, this season. 
So, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. I'm sorry I, I went on for so long. Um, I haven't been, done a video in a while, so I wanted to do something. But, yeah, guys, be versatile, be flexible. And remember, you know, as a time, this time of the year is good for being versatile and flexible. But then once you start getting into February and March, you want to be out of that. And you want to be back into getting in back into your lawn care mode. You know, so that's what you want to do. But I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys have a great day today. And God bless you on the, the year that's coming up. Hopefully you guys have an excellent year. Excellent year. I pray for you guys all the time. Have an excellent and amazing year of service. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.